and we are what we are going to be focusing on is board prep. Um, we are heading into the board prep season, um, Comlex, USMLE, and we are here today to talk to you guys about what resources we have as the library um, to offer all of you guys for uh, to help out with studying for your boards. So we're going to start off first and foremost. Um, we're on the PCOM Library uh, homepage. That is library.pcom.edu. Um, this probably looks pretty familiar for everybody. Um, before we jump into the board resources, I do want to highlight the live chat feature uh, that's down in the bottom right-hand corner. Um, if this little icon is up and says live chat, that means someone is available. So if you guys have a question regarding pretty much anything, um, you can just send us a, a, a quick quick message. Works like the old AI, AOL well, Instant Messenger. Probably dating myself with that reference, um, but it's there and available um, anytime, probably between about 8 a.m. to about 11 p.m. Um, seven days a week that you can get in touch with us, ask a question. We should be able to give you an answer or at least get you on your way um, regarding anything library related. So the main thing we are going to be covering today is um, one of our subject guides about board prep resources. We've taken all of our resources, put them in a subject guide. You can access this from the library webpage in two ways. Uh, the first one, you can head over to Quick Links, which is going to be on the main page. Um, and it's going to be the fourth one down, it says board prep right there. Um, you can click on that and it'll take you there. You can also head up to the toolbar in the top um, in the top row here underneath subject guides. Click that, you'll get a drop down menu and board prep. Um, that's going to be there for you as well. So we're going to click on that and it's going to take us into our board prep subject guide. Uh, you can see on the left hand column there we have a lot, basically the different ca uh, categories everywhere from the DO level one, step one, step two, step three, also in terms of our pharmacy, physician assistant, and resident programs as well. Today, we will clearly be working um, just with uh, level one. That's what we're focusing on. So we'll kind of go through a bunch of these resources. Um, some might be familiar. Some hopefully will be not, uh, new to you, and we can kind of talk about every single one of them. The first one we're going to dive into is actually board vitals. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Um, board vitals, and with most of these, uh, you're going to need your own separate login, which is for free, but you are going to need your own login, so a lot of password memory on this. So we're going to go ahead and log in. The board vitals works pretty much, um, it's a question-based exam software. Um, so you can go in, it's going to uh, kind of categorize that you can see by different subject areas. It does cover both the Comlex and the USMLE. It's going to be towards the bottom. There's USMLE. So you can kind of, you know, decide, pick and choose what you're working on, depending if you're um, working up to the Comlex or you're working up to USMLE step one, since they are a little different. Um, you also have a bunch of other different subject areas that you can jump into um, to kind of answer questions and take tests based on that, what you, based on what you're looking for. We're going to dive right into just Comlex, um, and this is pretty straightforward. All of these interfaces are, do pretty much the same thing in terms of ask, giving you guys questions so you can practice for the Comlex for USMLE. They do it in different ways, and they each have their own strengths and weaknesses. Um, we can see right here, we went into Comlex, we can customize our exam, gives you the different subject areas if you want to focus on a specific subject area. Um, it also will allow, you can see, uh, to select all of them as well. So you can just do, you know, a nice potpourri of everything. Um, you can see as well, you also ask how many questions you want to make it. So if you only want to do about four or five, that's fine. Or if you want to do a little bit closer to what the actual exam is going to do with about 300 questions, you're welcome to do that as well. And then you just go ahead and click on Create Exam. We'll go ahead and start. And it's just going to be pretty straightforward. Um, you answer the question, it'll give you the answer, I believe, right away. You have a choice. You don't have to have answer it right away. Um, oh, no, it will actually just answer it right. Um, it won't give you the answer. What it will do, though, and one neat feature is the show explanation option. Um, this one, if you click on this, it will give you the answer. So for this question, question answer is B. But then it gives you the explanation as well, so you can kind of learn as you're going, um, so you can be better prepared to answer these questions in the future. So that is a nice feature. Um, you can, you know, just answer it blindly, or you can take a look at the explanation um, as well. So that's a, that's a kind of a nice feature of Board Vitals that it gives you a pretty in-depth explanation um, regarding what the answer is to the question and um, and the reasoning behind it. Along with making the quizzes, you can end up uh, seeing your exams, your past exams, how you did. 
uh, they'll be right here. We didn't finish this one, so this one is located right here. You can continue it at any time, so you can stop them and start them as you want. Um, and then you can also check out your progress from before. Clearly this one I did not do very well. Um, and you can check out your report um, and the responses as well, so you can kind of go back and compare and contrast uh, as you improve. And that's pretty much board vitals. Um, this one I think is, is going to be the most simple one that we're going to talk about. It doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, but it does have a lot of questions to go through, which I think can be really helpful just in terms of getting the refs uh, needed for the, uh, for the complex or for USMLE, which is nice that it covers both. Not everything we cover is going to be specific enough to cover both complex and USMLE. We'll head out of that. Um, next one on the list is going to be ComBank. I'm not going to go too deep into ComBank. I know Dr. Frisia is, um, works with you guys with ComBank, and you are all probably pretty familiar with it. I will mention, though, that if you do have any questions with access to ComBank, um, the person to contact, at least on the Pennsylvania campus, is going to be Stephanie Ferretti, our director. Um, she's going to be there if you have questions in terms of you can't log on, have some trouble accessing it, or if you pushed your date back, your exam date back, and you need a little bit longer in ComBank, um, she can be the one to kind of set those permissions for you. So that's probably the important thing to know with ComBank. Like I said, we're not going to spend too much time in this one. This one um, seems to be the one that everyone kind of already has a good idea about. But it is important to point out that it's located on our website. The next one I want to touch on is Exam Master, the one down here. So we'll go ahead and click into that one. Um, exam Master. Uh, this one only focuses on USMLE, but with still a lot of really good questions. Um, this one has a little bit more depth in terms of the amount of questions. And of course, we'll log in. Okay. And it's going to take you to your dashboard. dashboard. Um, it's going to be function similarly to what Board Vitals. You can go ahead and create exams. And it's going to ask you about the different subject areas. We can see, you know, USMLE, there are going to be our subject areas as well. If you're interested, you want to brush up on some stuff in biomed. Um, there is also the physician assistant pharmacy, not relevant for this, but that is there as well. So we'll head on into USMLE. We do have the step one board prep, about 1,700 questions. So there's a lot, a lot of questions um, to cover. You head into there, we select. Um, you, you know, you can select a general topic area. I believe if we hit the drop down, there's going to be, it breaks down even more subject areas. And the same thing down here as well, that, uh, that we can uh, pick how many questions we want to go ahead and ask, and then we create the exam. And then the exam is going to be ready for us. We can open the exam. Um, the nice thing about about Exam Master, instead of Board Vitals of just the one way to take the exam, you can take the exam in three different ways. Um, number one, when you t if you select the Take Study option, when you select an answer, the answer will then be shown, um, which is nice. So then you can kind of, you know, know as you go where you're at and where you're standing. Um, if you just take the test, it's not going to show you anything, it's just going to grade you at the end. So it's almost like just taking the actual test. And the final option is Take Learning. This actually, when you select the, uh, the answer, if you take it in this mode, it will then give you the, the correct answer and then also break it down for you. So kind of like the show explanation that we saw in Board Vitals. So that's a really handy feature um, that I think Exam Master provides. In addition to that, one other neat function of Exam Master is you can actually make flashcards. Um, not only can you make custom flashcards, but the flashcards are available in the tests. So you can actually literally cut and paste the questions put them on the flashcards, and then make your own flashcards and go through your questions like that, which I think is a really neat feature um, from Exam Master if you want to kind of just rapid fire what the answers are. So that's a nice, um, nice feature of Exam Master. And then we'll actually go back. Hopefully, no, we'll go to pause and exit instead. Um, your flashcards are going to be stored um, on this main, main toolbar on the left here, the flashcards area. You can make a test group, and then I have, I've made a test card, and you can see the front back, and you can actually look at them, um, too. If you go in this mode, you see the front, and then you can flip it, the reveal card, eh. and then it'll show um, the flash card. So that's a neat feature, I think, with, um, with Exam Master, a little bit different. If you, if you just want to like, kind of rapid fire through questions, you can make the flash cards and go about it that way. 
So that's Exam Master. Again, pretty similar um, to what Board Vitals is, you know, a, just a big question bank for you guys, um, but, you know, little different quirks here and there um, to, to help you out in different ways. That is Exam Master. And we'll head on down to, next one is USMLE Easy. Go ahead, open that. When you get to USMLE Easy, the most, well, one of the most important things is you're actually going to head up to here, Institutional Sign-In. Um, that's where you will end up signing in. Again, this is something where you need to make an account, just like everything. And USMLE Easy is going to be very similar to Board Vitals, very similar to Exam Master. Um, USMLE Easy obviously focuses on the USMLE exam, um, not so much with Comlex, um, but two big differences that I see with this one. Um, the first, well, before we get to that, I'll just show the start practice. And then there's going to be a, you can either do an adaptive practice quiz, you can create your own quiz. So again, you know, making, taking questions and um, creating your own quizzes and exams for you. And you can see the same thing here where you can choose your quiz mode. So the practice mode, um, you know, the pre when you answer a question, it'll reveal the correct answer along with an explanation, or you want a more traditional um, kind of testing interface that you answer the question and then just keep moving on. So that's available for you. Uh, same general concepts, your difficulty level, which is a nice feature, um, and then the subject areas as well that you can pick. And of course, how many questions you want to attempt, whether it be 7,329 or 10 or even less, um, that's going to be there for you. So this functions very similarly um, to Exam Master and Board Vitals in this sense. The big difference um, with USMLE Easy, and this is one of the reasons why I really like this, um, this platform, is going to be your target test day and the, uh, the full length test. Um, you can actually put in when you're going to take the test. So for instance, I put in, I think I'm ta taking the test, quote, um, on May 31st. So I put that in and it gives me a study plan, which is going to be helpful to kind of keep me on track. If you work better in that facet with, um, you know, being kind of keeping track, having a plan, this is going to be perfect um, for you. You can put it in and then it will automatically kind of tell you how much you should be doing at a given time that you want to practice up to, you know, 300 questions this week, next week another three, looks like 3,000 questions, um, you know, and then obviously taking the test. So it's a cool feature uh, that the USMLE offers in case um, you want to kind of get a plan and kind of want to stick to it. The other great option is the full length test. USMLE Easy does provide one full length practice test for USMLE, which is really, uh, really awesome. Um, you do have to, you know, it's going to be just like uh, as if you were taking the exam um, for real. So you'll go through the whole thing, go through the eight hours, um, you want to set aside the block, and you can go through it. So it'll really kind of prepare you and make sure you know what to expect from, uh, from, from the exam, which is really, again, a really good feature and something unique to, uh, to USMLE Easy. So that is available as well. Um, briefly, before we move on, I want to just talk about this one right here, the Comlex Level 1. This isn't so much going to be a great database, but I do think this is an important resource. Um, this actually is going to kind of mimic what the Comlex is going to look like. So this is just going to be more of a tutorial, more of a training session that you get in there, and it's going to tell you, yes, this is what the mouse does, this is where you click on things. It might sound basic, but this will get you comfortable for the exam, so that when you sit down and take the Comlex, you'll be like, oh, I know what this button does, I know how to use this calculator and the highlighter options, as opposed to, oh my god, where are all these buttons, what am I doing? That's the last thing you want to be doing, is kind of figuring out the nuts and bolts mechanics of the software when you really should be concentrating on the, uh, on the material. There aren't going to be a lot of questions in this, um, this is more just to kind of get you comfortable with the, uh, the actual apparatus, but I do think it's really nice and handy to at least look at it and make yourself a little bit familiar with it, so that way you're prepared for this portion of it when you sit down um, to, to actually take the Comlex. So that's available. A couple other resources that aren't so much question-based. Um, number one is going to be the Access Medicine Study Tools. Um, this is more just a, compos uh, a repository of different textbooks that that, uh, you know, surround our medical field. Uh, a couple in particular that I know we definitely use 
is, uh, is our basic histology textbook right here, along with the Katzung and Trevor's pharmacology textbook. They are available here in ebook form. Um, they also do have quizzes and uh, question banks for you for the textbook. So if you want to kind of get you know, down the weeds in terms of the subject matter, you can go through this and take quizzes on, based on each textbook, which can be helpful. Again, a little detailed, but it's available to you. Um, I just think this resource is nice in general because it does have the textbooks, um, a lot of textbooks that we use, and it can help you guys prep for your Comlex and USMLE um, exams that they'll be here and available for you. So a nice feature from Access Medicine, and also note this one, you don't have to create an account. If you're on the PCOM network, you'll just log in, you can start, um, start going to town on this stuff. One other uh, database that I want to mention, and this is going to be a little bit of a blast from the past, is going, we're, so we're going to go back to our main web, library webpage. We're going to head to the databases link underneath the quick links as well, and we'll head to D. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down. Um, we're going to head into, back into draw to know it. I know this is probably a blast from the past using it in anatomy first year. Um, but draw to know it also has a very good board prep component to it, um, covering not only the Comlex, but also the USMLE. So we're going to be on the front page of draw to know it. If you scroll down just a little bit, we'll see the board preparation area. And you can see USMLE Comlex high yield topics for step one is going to be there. That's going to take us into a bunch of the subject areas that you'll cover in the Comlex and USMLE. Um, there aren't going to be a ton of questions on this one, but this is going to be more content focused. So you want to you know, focus on, on nitrogen metabolism, why not? Um, it'll take you to the overview of it, give you the tutorial, and then it can also, um, it will ask a couple questions. Now, granted, they're only going to be about four or five. This is, um, you know, withdraw to know it. So a couple basic questions, but I think this is really good just to reinforce the subject matter. Um, and I probably think a good break as well in between all these question banks. So you can kind of go back to this and just get back to the subject matter. So I think probably a nice break and just something to keep in mind, something in your toolbox um, as you go forward and study for the boards. So that is certainly available for you. Um, we also do have a couple ebook collections that I want to highlight. Um, for this, we're actually, we'll head back home. Um, a couple ebook collections of notes. We're going to head up to the top part. Again, you can access this two different ways as well from home, the collections tab. There's going to be ebooks is located right there, about the fourth down. Um, we also have it underneath the quick links as well, the ebooks option. So we'll click on ebooks. Two collections that I think are going to be important for helping study for um, prepare for the Comlex and uh, USMLE is going to be under ebook collections. So that option, we'll click on that. We're going to head down is listed alphabetically. The first one's going to be the first aid review. So this collection is going to be about 20 or so um, books centered around first aid, centered around USMLE. Um, they're going to be all located right here uh, for you. And you can you know, go ahead, open the ebook, and just start reading, start going to town, which is great. That's going to be one option. The, uh, the second option, if we head back, it's going to be all the way at the bottom, um, the USMLE first aid. So this is going to be the same format as what we saw with um, with the first aid collection, that is, but it's going to be, you know, the first aid USMLE, um, and we'll see not only step one, but this also includes step two and step three. So the further you go in your career, um, you know, in the next couple of years in your residency, these books will be, uh, well, not your residency, but these books will be available as long as you're a student at PCOM. Um, so it contains not only step one materials, but also step two and three. You can see step first aid for the USMLE, step one. And same thing, you open the ebook, can start reading right away, and you don't need an account for this, which is very handy. Uh, the final thing, I meant, final thing I'm going to mention is actually our, um, our textbook collection, our physical textbook collection. Just want to remind you guys, we do have a lot of uh, physical textbooks, a lot of the board reviews um, for you. I want to highlight just two. Number one is going to be the OMT review, the Savarese book. Um, we do have a new edition of that. We just got a couple about a month ago. Um, we have probably about 10 copies total between the new edition and the older edition of Savory. So they are available not only in our, our short-term reserve, for three hours, but also in our 30-day reserve and our 42, our six-week reserves as well in our main collection. So we do have the OMT review available. And we also, and this is one I'm I'm quite quite excited about. 
is going to be our Fundamentals of Pathology um, book. This uh, comes highly recommended from, from students who have taken the boards. Um, we actually re just recently bought two copies of it. Um, they are on our short-term reserve book collection list, so only about three hours at a time, but we do have them available now for you guys. Um, they're going to be at the reserve desk again. You can loan them out for three hours, and those are literally brand new. We got them this, this week, um, so they will be available for you very shortly. And, uh, and you know, should popularity dictate, we'll, we'll purchase more. So we definitely still also have physical textbooks um, available as well. You know, if you're in the library or want to take home and not be staring at a screen, these will be available for you as well. Um, that's pretty much going to wrap it up. Uh, like I said, just, oh, you know, overall the most important things, I think our subject guide area, the board prep, all of our resources are going to be available there. And, of course, if you have any questions, um, please feel free to get in touch with, uh, with any folks at the library, any of us would be happy to help you and uh, show you what we got and help guide you as you, uh, you know, head out into the, the thick of board season. Um, so with that, I will say thank you and good luck.